Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. We just wait one more minute for everyone to join. Hi, hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, Ines. Okay. It's so nice to see so many people. So nice to see you all. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Please feel free to introduce yourself in the chat or unmute yourself and say hi. Okay. We waited just uh, 30 more seconds. Hi, hi, Adi. Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's fine. <laughs> we are, we are. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, all. Hello. So nice to see you all. Okay, so looking at the time, I think we can uh, we can start. If you hear some echo, it's because Isabel and I are sitting next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> so you can hear some echo. But um, as I was saying, feel free to introduce yourself in the chat or say hi online. Um, this is the um, special get together that we are doing to talk about that youth, um, youth action for SDG6 fellowship. Uh, my name is Samuela Guida. And I am the IWA Strategy Program and Engagement Manager. And I'm here with the, uh, my colleague Isabella, who will introduce herself. So Isabella will be the main um, chair during the, um, this, uh, um, this meeting. So without further ado, Isabella, the floor is yours. And again, uh, thank you all for, for joining and ask as many questions as you can, <laughs> because the uh, deadline is... Uh, approaching and we need all of you to apply. <laughs> so <laughs> Isabella, the floor is yours. Thank you, Samuela. Oh, I'm glad to see so many familiar faces, but also the new faces. And I'm also happy to see that everyone is interested in this fellowship that IWA and Graham Frost uh, launched. And so before I started, just a quick introduction, uh, introduction from my side. My name is Isabella Spindola, and I am the membership engagement officer responsible for the young water professionals. And I'm also taking the lead on this initiative. So if you have any questions, um, you can start like dropping them in the chat. We will have a Q&A for this. But you can also send me an email and I will reply as soon as possible. So without further delay, I will just go over a quick presentation about the fellowship. And I already have some answers to some of the questions that I've been receiving, that it might be one of your questions. And then we will open this uh, online floor <laughs> to, to your questions and other comments. I will just kindly ask that while I am presenting that you remember to mute yourself so we don't have any kind of problems with um, different audios at the same time, okay? So let me start on this so you already know our faces. So for those that are not yet familiar with the fellowship, you can just scan their QR code and you can see uh, the information that we have online. And also the exact link to apply for the fellowship is all in IWA website. But okay, so what is the IWA in Grand Falls Youth Action for SDG6? What is this fellowship about? First of all, it's a fully funded opportunity that we launched uh, in partnership with Grand Falls and will cover the air travel, subsistence, accommodation, uh, ground transportation, all travel insurance and the visa application for those that need the visa. Uh, IWA, we are responsible for booking airline tickets. So as soon as we have the selection uh, list with the candidates, we will start um, working on this as soon as they receive their visa. And we highlighted in the application that the selected candidates, the candidates they are responsible for securing the visa for US, Rwanda, and the Schengen visa to go to, uh, to Denmark. So what this fully funded opportunity will cover, um, will uh, include it. First is the participation uh, in the UN 2023 Water Conference that will be held in New York from 22 
uh, to 24. Uh, this conference is uh, one of the most expected uh, events in the water sector, and we'll have like an open ceremony, closing session, a lot of um, interactive dialogues, uh, side events, uh, plenary sessions. And during the same week in New York, uh, New York City will be hosting the uh, new water, uh, New York City uh, Water Week. So both events will be happening at the same time. Uh, besides the participation in the UN uh, Water Conference, all the participants are going to contribute to a joint uh, IWA Grand Force publication. And this publication is related to young water professionals. So we have this general team about how young water professionals have a critical role in the implementation of the Agenda 2030 and the Sustainable, uh, sustainable Development Goals. And we want to understand, like we have the general team and then we are asking the candidates, what kind of contribution can you bring to this publication? So it will focus on how the water sector can maximize all the benefits of integrating and enhancing the participation of young water professionals in the water sector, but also thinking about the sustainable development, the SDGs and the uh, 2030 agenda. Uh, besides this, we have some uh, online training sessions related to the current challenges to achieving the SDGs. All the sections uh, will be online. Uh, the dates will be confirmed, but mostly will be in um, January and February because we need them to have to happen be, uh, prior to before the UN Water Conference. So thinking about dates, we need times between January and February. And then we have this three day meeting at Grenfell's headquarters in Denmark. It will be another in-person experience there. And during this uh, event, all the candidates, the selected ones uh, are going to present the key learnings from the UN uh, Water Conference and also to start presenting their uh, contributions to the publication. The, this date is yet to be defined, but it will happen after March 2023, uh, after the UN Water Conference. Then the, uh, the participants will also help with a webinar series with IWA and a global coordination call. Uh, this date is yet to be defined. Uh, all, both of the events that I mentioned, they are online. And they will also share the key learnings, um, what was decided during the UN Water Conference, what they learn about it, what they uh, in terms of the expectation. This will be one of the main opportunities for them to engage with the YWP community and the wider IWA uh, membership. And they will be able to share their experience with the others that, that were not able to, to be there and to attend. So it's a, a learning opportunity for those that uh, were not uh, attending uh, the UN Water Conference, but also an opportunity for the selected candidates to share their, their perception about what happened there. Finally, uh, all the selected candidates they will attend the IWA uh, Water Development Congress in Kigali next year, where they will also highlight their key learnings uh, via a workshop that will be organized um, by the IWA Secretariat in collaboration with Grenfell's and the YWP Steering Committee that, by the way, we do have members here attending. And um, during the, uh, the Water Development Congress, they will, we will also have a session, a side event that will launch this, um, this publication, this handbook uh, between IWA and Grenfell's and all the contributions from the selected candidates. So what are the criteria to apply for the fellowship? First, to be a young water professional. So 
uh, we will only consider applications from candidates that are between um, 18 to 35 years old uh, on the date of the UN Water Conference. So the conference will start on the 22 uh, of March next year. And this opportunity is uh, open only for active IWA members. So we will be checking the membership status of all the candidates. If you are not a member, you are not eligible to participate. And what we are expecting from the candidates is that they show this commitment to the water sector, that they have a leadership capacity, that they are working uh, to address this key um, local or global issues related to, to water in their current work, if they are researching about it, if they are working in a utility in the industry, uh, in an NGO, for example. And we expect them to have this record of generating um, impactful and creating innovative ideas to the water sector. And since all the discussions in the UN Water Conference, as well as in Grand Falls, the publication and in, uh, in, in Kigali will be in English. We are looking for candidates that have this working knowledge of English. So regarding the uh, application, what are the documents that you must submit to apply for the fellowship? First is your CV only two pages. If you submitted five, we are not looking the other three. We are only looking the first two pages. Um, we are looking to receive this motivation letter, maximum one page. We are asking for a letter of reference from an IWA member, maximum one letter. So if you are an IWA member, uh, you can get connect to other members via the IWA Connect platform, via the specialist groups that we have, the other program. If you are involved with all the activities that the IWA has, this uh, is something easy to, to, to get it. Then we are asking for a one-page writing sample because we need to check uh, your knowledge of English as well your knowledge of the water sector. And this writing sample should be related to the topic that the candidate wants to contribute to the publication. And finally, we are asking for this project proposal about uh, your contribution to the publication. All the documents must be submitted in English. They should be compiled and saved in a single PDF file. So this is the only file that you need to attach to, to the application um, form. In terms of the application process, um, the application will close this week on the 25, so Friday. I will be reviewing with the uh, other members from the IWA Secretariat until the 28th of November. The, win uh, the winter reviews will be happening on the 29th and 30th of, no of November. The candidates, uh, the selected ones, will be notified by mid-December. And the ones that are selected, they must confirm their participation by 20 of December. And we are receiving a lot of applications, so we are not able to provide any individual feedback for the applicants. If you are not selected, uh, we'll be uh, informing you. So um, I will st I start uh, the Q&A with some of the questions that we received. And as soon as I finish this, I will open the floor to, to receive your questions. So I am below 18 years uh, old or I'm over 35 years old. Can I apply to the fellowship? No, you cannot apply. Uh, this fellowship is open only for young water professionals between 18 years old and 35 years old on the date of the UN uh, uh, Water Conference. Okay. Um, other question. I'm not an IWA member. Do I need to be a member of IWA to participate in the fellowship? Yes, 
you do need to be an IWA member. You can register online. Um, I will share the link uh, here, but you can also find all the information to uh, relate to how to become an IWA member with our website. Um, if you are an IWA member, can you write your own reference letter? No. Self-written reference letter will not be accepted in this fellowship. And if you don't know any IWA members, how can you reach out to them? As I mentioned before, you can connect to them via the IWA Connect platform. And you can reach out to specialist groups um, and the participants that you have in some of our programs and other activities. And we are receiving a lot of uh, requests um, to issue reference letter. But the IWA Secretariat is not issuing any reference letter. We are involved with the selection process. So we cannot issue any reference letter. Um, so why should you submit your motivation letter? Well, uh, it's via your motivation letter that you can show evidence that you're committed to deliver uh, this positive change in the water sector is how you can demonstrate that you have uh, this leadership capacity that we are looking for is um, where you can explain and demonstrate how you are addressing key uh, and global uh, water issues in your current work is also uh, where you can show that you have a track record of generating this in, um, impacts in the water sector. So use your motivation letter to highlight why, you're, you, why you must participate in, in the water sector, why you are a good candidate to, to attend it. Other questions that we received, um, my CV is bigger than two pages, can I send it? As I mentioned, we will only accept CVs with a two pages. So you don't need to attach your, uh, your degree certificates um, uh, on it. You just need to highlight uh, the main information in your CV. If you're not fluent in English, can I apply to the fellowship? Um, as I also mentioned before, all the applicants are required to have this working knowledge of English. All the discussions um, during the UN Water Conference um, and all the other events and this online engagement will be in English. And we will also evaluate this um, language fluence during the interviews. And if you're not fluent, uh, this fellowship is not something um, that you should consider. We really need someone that have this working knowledge of English. Um, regarding the, uh, the writing sample, uh, again, focus the writing sample on the water topic that you want to contribute to the publication. Um, this uh, sample will help us evaluate your knowledge about the water sector, your writing skills, and your knowledge and command of the English uh, language. And regarding your project proposal, uh, it should include a title, a brief description about the project, the objectives, the methodology, and the scope. And if you have some questions in terms of what you should include in, in, in the writing sample, uh, think about exactly how you can connect it. And there are no available funds for development, uh, for developing the project, your project proposal. And again, it should be designed to fit the publication uh, scope that you have it. Um, do I need the visa to travel to the US, Denmark, and Rwanda? We are recommending that all applicants that they check the US, the Denmark, and uh, Rwanda visa requirements via their local embassy. IWA and Ground Force, uh, we are not responsible for checking visa requirements, and we cannot guarantee that any candidate that they will uh, receive their visa. And something really important, only 12 candidates will be selected. 
and a maximum of two young water professionals will be selected per region. So two from Africa, two from Asia, Europe, Latin America, and Caribbean, North America, and Oceania, two per, uh, per region. And the selection will also ensure that at least six participants are coming from low income countries and that at least half of it are women. Finally, what kind of profile we are looking for this fellowship? We are looking for young water professionals that have leadership capacity, that are addressing uh, this global and local water issues, that have the knowledge of English, that are working to contribute and to solve problems in the water sector. Okay, so these are some of the questions that I have received so far. I will stop and sharing my screen so I can see all your faces. And then we can go over uh, to the questions that you have it. Let me stop sharing, yes. Isabella, uh, yes. thank you, first of all. Um, I think uh, you should show this last uh, uh, slide that you had with the discount because I'm oh, receiving yes. some um, um, private messages asking, um, how do I become a member? I'm so interested in this. Yes. <laughs> so um, <laughs> just follow this, uh, um, uh, this slide. So we have a discount um, for new uh, members to the discount code. So use this IWA uh, YWP 2022. And then, uh, the link to become a member, I'll, I'll just put it in the chat. Uh, how to join membership. Um, here you go. Okay, put it in just so um, that answers some of the questions that I uh, have uh, have received. Um, mm -hmm. I also noticed a question about uh, I am a new IWA member. Can I apply? Yes, as, as long as you have an active membership, um, you you are eligible for this fellowship. And uh, um, yeah, so um, Isabella, what do you prefer? We'll just uh, go through the questions and we just reply to them. Or if you yeah. want, if you guys want to un unmute yourself and just ask your question here, we can. Okay, so uh, just put your hands up and then I will follow here. You can open your mic um, and make your question. <laughs> okay, we have one, um, Lark. Is, did I pronounce your name right? Sorry. <laughs> It's, it's like, sorry, I just have to find the unmute button. I'm used to Teams. Thank you for the presentation. Um, I am a little bit confused about the application and, and doing this project proposal. Um, is it supposed to be like a project you're already working on or is it something that you could see could be eligible in the future? And then you mentioned something about funding that I didn't quite catch if you could elaborate on that. Okay. So regarding the funding, we received some questions um, if there is any kind of funding available to develop this project proposal. Uh, this project proposal is related to the publication. So it's not a scientific uh, experiment that you're carrying out in, in your lab or something like this. So th there is no funds available for this. And this project proposal should be related to the publication. So think about a chapter for a book. What kind of contribution can we do to it? Thinking about the team that we have that is young water professionals contribution to the water sector. Okay, thank you. And the next one that I have here is Karina. Um, hi, Isabella, thank you so much. Um, I also wrote my question in the chat, um, but I am currently living in Armenia, which is considered both Europe and Asia. Um, but the United Nations recognizes it as Europe. So I'm wondering if I should select my region as Europe for the application process. Okay. Karina, we also received questions regarding this. Um, and think about the, the country that you come from, especially related to the passport um, and the visa application process. So inform where you're from based on this, because uh, it will also influence in the process of the, the visa application. It, it is also one of the ways that we will be checking um, if you're coming from a low income, uh, low or middle uh, income country, and then it will influence in the selection. Okay, um, I'm a United States citizen. I'm just, um, I'm here in Armenia for a research project. So, so I, I read that it's about your um, current country of residence and my project is about, is here regionally in Armenia, so. 
in that case? No, your project can be based in um, what you want to focus and contribute to the publication can be related to um, the country that you are living uh, are facing. But in terms of where you're from, um, go, go back to the country that, that you are. Like, for example, I'm from Brazil, but I'm living in the UK. If, I'm, if I am applying for this fellowship, I would say I'm from Brazil. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, Mikael, Mikael Brick. Okay, since Mikael is, is not, I think that his image is frozen. Let's go to uh, Sa Safila, Safila Mohammed. Uh, your audio is, I cannot hear you. Can you hear me, madam? Yes. Uh, regarding my research, uh, my topic, which I propose in my proposal, it is the middle of the uh, way right now. And so during this three month period, uh, we must conclude the, our research topic or, or, or else the IWO will recommend further any topics to focus on based on my uh, specialist. Instead of saying what the young water professionals must contribute, we are just giving the general theme that is related to young water professionals impacts in, in the water sector that I mentioned about. And then we want to hear from you. We are giving the young water professional a space for them to show how they can engage in the water sector, what kind of contributions that they can do. So we first we want to hear what you can contribute to it. So and the that, exact, sorry. So so exactly which I uh, which I proposed in my application. Uh, it is it is not the hundred percent topic will focus in my research. It may change. The publication will be related to young water professionals in the water sector and their contribution to achieving the sustainable development goals. If your contribution is not related to this, then you can still, you still have time to change it, but it should be related to the general team. But uh, during this uh, couple of months, uh, the research topic and finding should be finalized when I, if I select. Uh, your chapter, your contribution must be ready until uh, we have the, the launch in Ground Falls. Um, this will be after the UN Water Conference, so after March. And then it will also be uh, launched during the Kigali. In, uh, during the World Development Congress. So in terms of, 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 of a time frame, you have less than, than six months to finish. Okay, madam, okay, thank you. Yeah. Sitao. Hi, Isabella. Hi, Sitao. Um, just to follow up on Karina's question about country of residence and country of origin, uh, the application clearly says that the high-income country, low-income country uh, classification is based on country of residence, not based on country of origin. So I was hoping you can clarify that a little bit. So on, on the application, like how it works. Because we are using uh, the classification that we go with IWA. Right. So this is how we define it, the country. But for example, um, so now I don't remember where, where you're from. But I know that you are based in, in Geneva in Switzerland, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then do you have the, the where is your passport from? Um, from a couple of countries. <laughs> I, I suggest that you go with the country that you're from. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um more more than more than Denny. Hi, yes, it's Mare Denny. I just wanted to confirm, I'm not sure if probably it has been covered before, but yeah, I can't even put on my video because I'm driving. So in terms of the research topic, is it the proposal or it can be something that already we are working on at the moment? Marina, can you please repeat the last part? <laughs> oh, I was saying in terms of the research, should it still be a proposal or we can also submit something that we are already working on at the moment? If you are working with something that is related to the topic of the publication, then yes, you can submit it. And Joma, 
Yes, hello all. Thank you for this uh, good presentation. Well, uh, for, for me, I'm a, I'm a new member and um, I, I was like spending these two weeks trying to find someone to support me since I'm a new member in the Iowa. So um, uh, the, the problem that I found that no one knows me. So how do those people like could support me or maybe recommend me since we don't collaborate like previously together. So I think this, this conditions for new members like me uh, should be like not take it on in consideration. Like uh, I, I know it's it's if if I don't provide a letter of support, I'm not eligible anymore to submit. So uh, what should, what should I do? I do my best. Is any, uh, anyone here like who to connect with me or maybe do the support letter for me? All the papers are ready. The proposal, the motivation letter, my CV, all the papers are already ready. So I, I can submit right now, but the only issue I found is support letter. And, and yeah, I do my best to link in Gmail and the network platform. So I'm still waiting a positive response. So what should I do in, the, in my case? Um, thank you for your question. And I know that some of the, um, the YWPs, they are struggling with this letter of reference, but this is a mandatory part of the, the application process. So we are not uh, creating like a special case for new members. We are still, um, your application should condition for submitting the yeah. reference letter. And Isabella, sorry, if I can add just something quickly. Um, what, what, the, what you can do is that you can reach out to um, us, to Is Isabella and myself, and what we can do, we can put you in contact with people. Um, you can, um, we can maybe, uh, you can maybe share with us your CV and then some of the other documents that the application um, requires so that these people that we um, uh, uh, put you in, in contact with can can know you on on those terms so if you share a, a cv maybe what you are doing how would you like to contribute to the publication uh what's you why are you interested in in uh, attending the conference maybe these people can support you in those sense so even if they don't know you personally they can maybe read uh your um, intent in, in going to uh, new york next year and we also have over uh 50 specialist group exactly. and then you can always reach to one of them that are connected to um, your working experience your background and then you can present yourself to this specialist group um, sharing your cv and which and saying then, like i need a reference letter to apply for this you can you can find all the information about the sgs in the iwa website and you can uh, connect with them via the iwa connect platform uh, Isabella, there is a question about um, can you be an applicant but also write a reference letter for someone else? Um, self self reference letter, no, but you can apply. Uh, for someone else, yes. Yeah, you can apply, yes. Yeah, so I can apply but also mm -hmm. write a reference letter for mm -hmm. someone else. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. Sina? Hi, Isabella. Um, can one, one member of IWA write more than one recommendation letter? No, they can write more than one reference letter. It's okay. They can, right? They can, yes. They can. They can, but for applicants, we can just uh, um, one reference letter per candidate. But if I'm an IWA member and I want to write 10 reference letters for 10 applicants, I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Grace? Hi, thanks for setting this up today. I am still a little bit confused about the project proposal. I've read the description on the website many times, so I understand what it says, but as we're actually writing it, so the idea is that we're coming up with a way to integrate young professionals into the water sector. And are we actually following through with our proposal over the course of these couple of months, or is it just a concept that we're putting out there. If you follow your proposal, that would be uh, amazing on this. And Grace, you can, for example, discuss how the young water professions are being integrated in, in your region. If uh, a river basin commission has uh, a specific role for young water professional, if it's being successful, if there, um, you can discuss uh, legislation or policies in places or you can discuss how um, young water researchers um, are contributing to the development. 
of, of new policies, think about the science in, and, and policy uh, integration. There are huge, um, um, there is a, a lot of topics that you can, can connect to this general topic, the general team that, that, you, that we have it. it. It's up to you to say and to highlight why this is important, why this should be part of this publication and, and, and why you should also be part of this, this delegation. Okay, I think that helps. Thank you so much. And Karina, do you have another question? Um, I, I do. Um, I just want to apologize. I just want to clarify. I was looking at the Google form um, when it comes to the um, classification and it says that um, HIC or LIC classification is based on the country of residence and not the country of origin. But when it pertains to submitting the application, we have to write our country of origin in the title. I just want to clarify that that's in fact the case. So um, the classification is based on where I'm currently residing, but when I submit it, I write where I'm originally from. Is that yes, so? Yes, exactly. I will add this information online. So um, maybe other candidates are facing the same situation. I just wanted to clarify. Yeah. Thank you so much. And Meg? Hi, thanks. Um, sorry, I just want to make sure that I'm making sense of my question. Um, I kind of following on from what Grace said, I was also struggling to kind of understand whether or not this is a hypothetical or what I guess the the research topic or project looks like. I guess I'm just looking for a little bit more clarification on the difference between the project, um, sorry, the proposal and the writing sample. So in my head, like the proposal is kind of like an abstract where you kind of have steps through the steps that you would go, whether it's something that's already happened or something that's happening in the future. And then the writing sample is like a part of the report. Is that the idea? And then if it's something that I haven't done yet, am I then making kind of assumptions in the writing, like in my writing sample? So Matt, in your project proposal, you need to bring the title, a brief description about the project, your objectives, the methodology, and the scope. This is your project proposal. And then in the writing sample, you can bring uh, the information about how your contribution are connected to the team, highlighting your knowledge in, in the water sector, um, highlighting also how this uh, contribution is important um, for this general team about young water professionals. One of them is the project proposal. So we have specific things that we are asking for. In the writing sample, you can be, you can be a little more broad in it. Awesome, thank you. Um, Grace, do you have another question? Because your hands are still up. No, sorry, let me okay. figure out how to lower it. And Joma, this is the same situation for you? Because your hands are Yeah, 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 it's the same situation, <laughs> okay. thank you. Really, I'm okay. so sorry. So now we have Ike, Ike Shuko. Sorry, I'm totally mispronounced your name. Oh, can, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, um, sorry, um, I got my time wrong because, um, you know, the time difference. So we're um, kind of lucky to join this time. So my, my question here is that because I, I was just going to participants and I come to realize that most people from, from Africa barely participate in programs like this and you know it's quite challenging it's very very challenging so um, it's quite difficult for me to um, get the registration because there was no one there to guide um, opening up to my professors in school and they're like they don't know much about Iowa they don't belong to Iowa and it just me on my the registration. Um, I'm thankful uh, at this very point, I've gotten, you know, the number, um, I made my payment today too. So, but my question here is that, um, I've write to so many um, in the, in the w, um, YW as the Young Water Professional Group, 
I wrote to them regarding or requesting for a recommendation later. And most of them are like, I don't know you. I mean, I can't write um, a recommendation later for someone, you know, you can't relate to. So actually on my own side, I have the whole challenge now is getting a recommendation later. So I don't know, that's why I'm kind of, um, I decided to join this very meeting to know how that could, could be helped. And aside me and other African students too who wants to be part of this very program. So that's it. Okay. Thank you for your question. Um, we had a similar one like before, and we suggested uh, the connection with uh, via IWA Connect and reaching out to the specialist group. And what Samuela suggested is that you send them um, your CV to us, and then we can reach out to some of the members and try to put you in contact to them to try to facilitate you in, in terms of finding this reference letter. Oh, you're muted. So um, the next question here is like, currently I have problems with my bank. Already I have to make the payments in euros and here I'm having kind of a, some difficulty making payments in euros regarding the local banks here in Nigeria. So um, I wrote to the bank and I was able to get dollars instead of euros and I can't really make the, the payment. I think that was my challenge today, this morning when I went to the bank to make the payment. They were like, oh, you have to make this very payment in euros, but all I have is dollars. So I don't know if there's any, you know, is there any way for me to pay the dollars equivalent of the euros? Because the local banks say they can, they can unless the IRA writes to them or sends me a link to make the payment in, in dollars that they can make such payments. So I don't know if I can be helping this. Okay, so can you send me a mail with your information and then I will put you in contact with the membership team and they can help you in terms of how to proceed in, uh, in paying the, the membership fee. Okay? Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, half? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Perfect. Thank you, Isabella and Samuel, for. Uh for this talk. Um, what I can see and read from the comments uh, in the chat here is that a lot of us are struggling with that recommendation letter. And given that we have three days until submission, and you also mentioned something about a possible extension, I just want to highlight or at least provide my own thoughts on this selection process. Uh, you will be losing out on a lot of great talent if you continue with this recommendation letter. Now, I can see a lot of people are nodding their heads. Uh, you will be losing out on talent. And I'm not sure that is the purpose of uh, this particular call from Confus. So I urge you to please go and talk to your manager or administrator that is in charge of this, Confus and tell them to scrap the recommendation letter and extend the deadline, please. Um, Isabella, do you mind if I give just a, a short uh, result here? Okay. Uh, just just be, and I'm really sorry, it, it's just because my I had the hand raised to, to this issue as well. And it's simply because, um, so, so the first advice that I would give to those that are the first time being members, first is welcome. Like it's really nice to have an extended family and this is a network that all the time is looking out for the young people. Um, and it's so great that more people can be integrated into the network so that we can, you know, help each other. Um, the second thing would be to advise you to talk with local chapters. So if you have a young work professional chapter locally in your country, then try to reach out to them and understand if they have contacts with IWM members. Plus, they will be probably IWM members because young work professional chapters must have IWM members in their boards. So, so if you reach out to them, maybe they will be able to reference you because maybe you already know them, right? So that's one advice that I would give. Um, the, the other one is that you we cannot be short-sighted. This is one uh, 
fu uh, funding proposal that we have of many that will come hopefully, right? This is one. So the fastest that you're trying to be a member and get integrated into the system, the more the opportunities we'll be able to get, hopefully from Groovers as well. I mean, we've been developing this with Groovers for a while and the commitment here is really to youth. It's not a single commitment. This is a long-term situation. This is, uh, this is not a one-time thing. Maybe from Goonfos is, is this, but I'm sure that Goonfos also has the perspective of continuing the support and the partnership with IWA. This is my understanding from the partnership that we've been developing with them. So I, I'm saying this because, you know, it's a great opportunity, really a unique moment with the UN 2023. But let's not fool ourselves. The water crisis will not be solved in March 2023. And the opportunities for us to do something and get involved will also come so just be a bit patient and and reach out to the local chapters honestly that's something that you can do today thank you ines we have more than 35 chapters all over the world so it's just a matter of reaching out to them if you are based in a country and you're not sure if there is a chapter or not you can send me a mail and i can put you in contact with the chair of this um this reference letter is one of the mandatory things uh, that we have in the selection process. And we are currently not dropping this out in the last minute on this. Regarding the extension of the deadline, uh, we are still working with the 25th of, of November. So this Friday will be, uh, in terms of the, the time of this application, it's more, we had more than 20 days to prepare all the things. And for those that, were present in Copenhagen. We announced this fellowship there, so they are already aware of it. We promoted it online. And when we open, we disseminate it as much as possible to not only IWA members, YWPs that are already in a part of the organization, but also to, to others in terms of the, and as Ines mentioned, there are other organizations that are preparing uh, activities to engage young water professionals. Uh, this UN water conference will be something that the, the water community is looking for. And you can see a lot of organization and youth led organizations working towards engaging YWPs as much as possible in, in, in all the activities there. Um, hi, Linda. Um, thank you for the presentation. It's really good to see you. And yeah, I just wanted to mention to Ralph's point. Um, so the application has been open for more than, I believe, 20 days. So the IW has put forth a lot of effort advertising on various me social media platforms. So even though the info session was only held today, um, but many of us have been tracking this opportunity. And I think it is at this point, I, I do suggest that we keep the recommendation letter just so that is fair to those who have been putting the effort for the past 20 days preparing the letter. And then I do have another question regarding the reference letter. Does it have to go on a specific format or letterhead? No, Linda, there is no, no format to, to follow. <laughs> it just okay, has to come you. from an IWA member. And it has to be uh, one page. Yeah. No more than okay. one page. Uh, what about any spacing requirement, just standard 1.5 or? No, no, no. no, of course not. But if you put the spacing requirement <laughs> <laughs> on half a page, we, we will notice. Okay, thank you so much for the clarification. Thank you, Linda. Um, Lark? Hello, I have a, a question on behalf of one of my colleagues who tutored in at India. Uh, she unfortunately couldn't be here today, but she was a little bit concerned that she wouldn't have time to apply for the visa coming from India to the US because it's on short, short notice. I didn't know if you knew anything about it or someone else in the call had looked into that process. Um, like we are uh, aware of the situation with the visa. Um, we are currently discussing uh, 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 with other organizations and also to the organizers of the conference if they will create some kind of a special channel. But so far, um, there's no news in terms of this. And 
that is not this is something that we don't have control of in terms so yeah thank you for elaborating on that um any other questions if you have um questions just please put your hands up so i can find you hi gina uh, uh, hello hello i just wanted to know that i'm turning 35 and 21 days uh, so i must not be uh, eligible right like i'm crossing by 20 days we consider i think we talked about it before uh, we we will consider the the year not the date i mean for iwa membership this is what okay. we do uh, but maybe okay. isabella you have a different information but that what i understood is that we will consider the the year of, of being born, not if you day. are 35 years and, and chilled uh, and like and, and to the UN water conference, then you are eligible to apply. If you are over 35, um, for the for 36, um, during the, the UN water conference, then you are not eligible to apply. Uh, uh, so I'm not 36, I'll be just uh, my my date of birth is first March, so I'll be uh, 35 years, 20 days, or 21 days. If you are 35 years by the time of the UN Water Conference, th then yes. you are still eligible to apply. Oh, great, great. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, I, I, I have um, received many, many uh, questions like this. So I think what we usually do in IWA is consider the year of birth. So if your year um, uh, covers the, the 2023, by uh, 2023 yes. you are 20 you are 35 then that's okay yes. even if you are at 35 in one day two days three days okay exactly yeah um jing okay thanks so much i uh, think for the uh sharing to the, the this kind of the informative presentations i also that became to the newly became to the iwa members and uh, tried to apply it but seems like uh, uh, it, it's it's uh, so far I could not get to the some different centers even though I created the some of the favorites and the plans and yeah some of the materials I prepared it but there uh, seems like it's hard to the I could not find the even in my countries I could not find the, any of the person who can who uh, the some is is pretty to write to the some different centers so so that's why I came to here I like to ask you about to the so. Here is a, the kind of the cohort for the 2023 and 2024. So is there going to be the next year can be open up to the same position or not? I'd like to know. Thanks. Hi, uh, Jing, you are based in, in, in Japan, right? Yes, I am. We have a chapter there. We have a chapter in Japan, so I can put you in contact with them. Uh, and then they can facilitate in, in the sense the last part of your question, I could not understand because the audio was dropping. So if you could please repeat it. Okay, thanks. Uh, I mean, this year they open up to the, the uh, fellowships and I'd like to know to the, how about the next year? Can uh, can you open up to the next years as the same, uh, same fellowship programs? Um. The UN World Conference will be next year. So this fellowship is just for the next year. Uh, there's still no discussions in terms of future fellowships for the young water professionals. But here in IWA, we are trying as much as possible to include young water professionals to create opportunities for them to this. But so far for next year, what we have is this fellowship for the UN Water Conference. Okay, so okay okay fine hi um, yeah it's very low hello yes can you hear me yes okay okay so um the question i have here is that i recently reached out to a former member from Nigeria who is a, a member. So, but he was asking me that he can't recall, I mean, his date of registration because there was a time I read on LinkedIn, one of the posts that says that um, one of the implication of the active member implies that, you know, you, you have to, you know, pay your membership fee for the year. So he was not like for the past 12 months, he doesn't know if, the membership 
last time was within the past 12 months. So I don't know much about it, but I just want to hear from you. You said you to pay for 2021, December 2021, then it means that till date you're still within the range or you have to make another fresh payment or kind of renew your membership. If it's If he doesn't have an active IWA membership, then he's not an IWA member. Okay. Then he, he's not able to, to write your reference letter. Joma? Yes, uh, thank you one more time for, for uh, answering the questions. I, I, I will come back to the research proposal. Uh, it's like, uh, should we like submit kind of short and abstract? Because when we submit for a journal to, to publish our article, we need first we start send them like a short and abstract. It could be like the seminar for the research proposal, or we should follow the, the, um, the ideas that's already written there. Like we need to write the abstracts, the objective, the methodology, and stop in the end. I recommend that you follow what we stated uh, in the call, okay. informing the title. Um, the title, let me get it. Yeah, the there. abstract. Um, title, a brief description of the project, five lines, the objective, the methodology, and the scope. <coughs> okay, okay, got you. Thank you. Any other questions? Because we are, our time is up. Uh, uh, I, yes. Excuse me, uh, I'm, just, I'm just asking about Morocco. Is there is a chapter in Morocco? Not yet. We are in discussions trying to, to reach out to members there to create a chapter. But yet we don't have a chapter in Morocco. So um, considering the time, this session was recorded and I'm going to compile all the, the information that I have here, including the things that were discussed in the chat because I didn't follow it yet. And then I will add everything to IWA website so we can watch it later and you can share with your friends that were not able to, to attend it today. Okay. And once again, thank you for joining. Thank you for all the questions and thank you for the interest in this IWA in Grenfell's Fellowship. And I'm looking forward to receive and reviewing your applications. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice rest of the day. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye.